Do you remember that big old cotton hoodie you used to love sitting around the campfire with? Do you also remember that moment when you realized you just couldn't justify taking it backpacking? I mean, first of all, it was cotton, so if it got wet, it would just never dry and be utterly useless. Second of all, it weighed a ton. I mean, this was like 20 ounces. And third of all, it was just so bulky. It took up like 10% of your backpack. Well, what if I told you there was a hoodie on the market that was none of those things and so much more? Well, say hello to Outdoor Vitals Ventus Active Hoodie. Let me introduce you. Hey everyone, welcome to the backcountry. My name is Jesse and this channel is all about getting backpackers backpacking. So let's get to it. And before we do, I just want to throw this caveat out there. This video is in no way sponsored by Outdoor Vitals. They sent me the Ventus as a prototype to test out. I've told them what I think and now I'm going to tell you what I think. But first of all, let's kind of figure out where it fits. Is it a jacket? Well, not quite, but honestly, it comes impressively close. Is it a hoodie? Well, technically yes, but it's so much more. Is it a mid-layer or something like a fleece that you can use as a mid-layer? Well, sure, but again, that just doesn't cut it. The Ventus kind of fits that whole range of things and sort of is all to its own. It's really unlike any other piece that I've seen out there. But when Outdoor Vitals told me they were going to send me a hoodie that I could take backpacking, I was sort of skeptical. And in my opinion, the success of this product all comes down to one thing. Is it comfortable? Now, we're going to talk about that at the very end. But before we do, I want to talk about three things. What it is, where it thrives and then at the end whether or not it's worth it. So let's talk what it is with a few of the technical specs. Now one of the first things I noticed when I took this out of the packaging was the nylon fabric. I honestly was really skeptical of whether or not that would feel good next to my skin and we're going to talk about that when we talk about comfort. But it is a nylon fabric material and nylon is covered with an acrylic coating which means it's water resistant. But unlike DWR, it's not going to wash off or wear out. It's a permanent coating that's actually part of the fabric. And then acrylic coating also does something else partnered with the nylon. It means it cuts the wind really well and we'll talk a little bit more about that of where it thrives but it does an excellent job handling that wind it also handles moisture I mean it is called the Ventus after all so it's got a midway zip as well as these really awesome armpit vents which are unlike anything I've seen out there it's not a zipper it's just these perforated armpits and yeah, they definitely keep you vented. It also has a hoodie, which if I'm 100% honest, I find a little bit too short. It comes to just above my ears, which I would like it to go a little bit further, but it's not the end of the world. I also really wish it had a pocket. That was something that almost subconsciously, the first time I put it on, my hands went to go put it in that hoodie pocket and it wasn't there. It does, however, have a pocket in the chest section, which it actually folds up to, and it does compress down to about the size of a softball, which is really impressive. It also has elastic cuffs in the cuff bands as well as a thumb loop for layering. So that's pretty handy. So the real question is, how well does the Ventus work? Where does it thrive? Now, as you can see, it's the end of winter here in Canada, which means I've been testing this piece almost exclusively in temperatures from 20 to 40 degrees Fahrenheit. And to be 100% honest, I've been really impressed with how the Ventus has performed. How does it handle things like wind, keeping you warm, and most importantly, moisture? So first of all, let's talk about how it handles wind. Remember how I said it's not quite a jacket, but close? I think it's this feature that really pushes it to that limit, makes it so impressive on that end. Now, it's not a windbreaker, but it definitely sheds the majority of any wind that's going to be hitting you. I primarily have been walking around with this below freezing, and if a cold wind is hitting me in about that 25 degree zone, what I find is that the only part of me that is cold is my face and my hands, and that says a lot about how well the Ventus can shed that wind, and that's in a cold condition. In the warmer summer months, I think it would do exceptionally well. Like I said, it's not not wind proof but it cuts that wind really effectively and I think a big part of that is the insulation layer which adds a lot of that 
warm. Now, when I say warm, I don't mean it's gonna keep you really toasty warm on a super cold night. It's not a jacket. What I mean is that it actually just helps you with temperature regulation really well. When I'm walking in the cold and the wind is blowing against me, it's not that I feel really warm. I just don't feel cold. I feel really comfortable. In fact, with the mid layer zip and the armpit vents, it helps my body regulate its temperature really well. And on a note on those armpit vents, you will definitely feel those as soon as you walk out of the house. You'll feel a chilly cool blast because those vents are doing what they're supposed to do cooling your core body temperature down while dealing with that moisture. And within a minute or two, you're no longer sweating and you're just comfortable walking in a fairly cool evening or whatever the conditions might be. And I think that's pretty important to note. It is called the Ventus Active Hoodie, which means it excels when you're active. Sure, you can totally use this just sitting around doing nothing, but I would find that the temperature that you could do that with probably wouldn't be as low as when you're active and taking it out. I could take it to about freezing pretty comfortably with just a t-shirt underneath, and if I put the Dragon Wool Thermals underneath or a long sleeve merino wool base layer, I can take it down closer to that 20 degrees Fahrenheit pretty comfortably as the lower limit but that's when I'm active. If I'm just sitting around the campfire, I'd probably want to stick around to that 40 degrees and above zone. I don't think I'd have much of a problem there, especially if I had some good base layers. I've also used it as a standalone piece, and I'm always impressed with how well it's handled moisture. So let's talk about moisture management and what it does there. It is, after all, called the Ventus, and it does so by, like I said, that zipper vent and the armpit vents. But something else that I was really impressed on when I took it on a winter backpacking trip recently was how well it dealt with the moisture that was on my body. It's not moisture wicking per se, or at least I don't think they advertise it as that, but I find it sort of does that. When I had the sleeves rolled up, I found there to be a lot of moisture around my elbows, which is to be expected, and of course I had my backpack on, so my backpack was sweating. When I got to camp and took my backpack off and rolled down my sleeves, I could tell that the water that was on my body had been kind of absorbed into the insulation layer, and I could touch it and it would feel wet, but when I was just wearing it, it didn't feel wet against my skin. And this is where it was really impressive. Within minutes, it had completely dried out, just from my own body temperature warming that moisture up. I was really impressed with it. So I was able to use it to set up camp, and as temperatures began to drop below that 20 degrees mark, closer to the 10 degrees, and even below that, I was able to put a fleece underneath it to stay warm, and when it got really cold, put a hard shell over top. So it's a really versatile piece that way as well. Overall, I've been really impressed. It's not quite a puffy jacket, but you could definitely use it as that in warmer temperatures. It's also so much better than a fleece because it sheds that wind off of you instead of that wind just cutting right through that fleece garment. And it still does all the great things that a fleece does while handling that moisture. So it's almost like a jacket, but just shy of that. In fact, I've compared it to my Arcteryx Atom LT, and I don't find it to be quite as warm as that, but considering the Ventus is about five ounces lighter and compacts to about half the size, the fact that it can almost compare to the Atom LT is, again, really impressive. But is it as comfortable? Let's talk about whether or not I think it's worth it. So if you can't tell, I actually really like this piece. It's done a lot more than I expected it to. And when Outdoor Vitals first told me they were sending me a hoodie, it wasn't like anything I was expecting it to be. Now, when I first touched the nylon fabric, I was kind of, I kind of cringed at that like, ugh, you know, that, that typical nylon-y feeling. But this is where a subtle design decision really saved this piece. The interior nylon and the side nylon doesn't have that same acrylic feeling. So you can actually tell it even sounds different when I rub it. I don't know if you can hear that, but it does. And it feels noticeably different too. It makes it actually way more comfortable than I expected it to be, to be just sitting on my skin. And when I wear it, it feels as light as a feather. The Ventus Active Hoodie is definitely going to fit into my backpacking kit. I don't exactly know what all pieces it's going to replace, but it's sort of just such a wonderful daily use item that I can use when it's not too hot out, not too cold, to temperature regulate, when I'm facing some wind, climbing up a mountain pass, 
all these different things. It's just the right piece for me. <laughs> it's beginning to snow and I'm honestly still wearing the hoodie and just a merino long sleeve t-shirt. So is it comfortable? Is it worth it? Well, honestly, considering I can take it all the way down to 20 degrees Fahrenheit and still be pretty warm, you know, with the proper layering system underneath, like the Dragon Wolf Thermals are a great example of that. And the fact that I can use it as a mid layer itself with a hard shell over top is just excellent. It's not quite a jacket, but it's that perfect in between so that I might not need to reach into my backpack and get my jacket out because the Ventus will just carry me through. It fits great on my body and feels lighter than a feather. In fact, most of the time, I don't even think about the fact that I'm wearing it. It's a great all around piece of gear that's definitely gonna find its way into my kit because while it doesn't do everything, it does so much more than anything else that I have. I hope you found this review helpful. If you'd like to see some other gear that I recommend, especially around the colder seasons, you can check this video out right here. I hope you guys are out getting on some adventures of your own and remember, keep moving forward.